Good afternoon, everyone. We are the group one of the HCREAM 1H, and we will present the lesson two, mathematical language and symbols. Good day, everyone. Today I will discuss the mathematical language. But now we proceed first. What is language? There are multiple definitions of language. A language may be a system of words or code used within a discipline. Language may refer to a system of communication using symbol or sounds. Whichever definition is used, a language contains the following components. There must be a vocabulary of words or symbols, meaning must be attached to the words or symbols. A language employs grammar which is a set of rules that outline how vocabulary is used. A syntax organizes symbols into linear instruction or propositions. Meaning to say, mathematics meets all of these requirements. The symbols, their meanings, syntax, and grammar are the same throughout the world. Mathematicians, scientists, and others use math to communicate concepts. So what is mathematical language? Mathematical language is the system used to communicate mathematical ideas. The language of mathematics is more precise than any other language. One may think of, like other languages, it has its own grammar, syntax, vocabulary, word order, synonyms, negations, conventions, idioms, abbreviations, sentence structures, and paragraph structure. It has certain language features and parallel in other language just a representation. The language also includes a large component of logic. The ordinary language, which gradually expands to comprise symbolism and logic leads to learning of mathematics and it uses application to problem situation. Hello, my name is Gumiran Mark Ryan. What I'm going to discuss today is precise. Precise marked by exactness and accuracy of expression or detail. What is precise? Precision refers to how consistent any given values are with each other. It shows the closeness of the given values or measurements are with each other. It is irrelevant of the correct or closest to an expected value or any given measurements. So basically, consistency is what we're looking for. When you say precise, it is the it, it is irrelevant of the correct or closest. It is not the correct or any or closest to an expected value, but it it is just consistency of any given number. Precision means that what is precision also means what is said is exactly what the author is trying to say. Connotation, word form, usage, accuracy, or etc. And this is the examples of the precise. If you measure the weight of an object five times and you find that it is 245 grams each time, it is perfectly precise. If the thermometer con con continuously registers the same temperature for several days, the measurement it is also precise. And as you can see here in the chart, you can see what is the difference between accuracy and precision. So, on the first picture, it is ac accurate and precise because accurate because all the X's are in the bull's eye. And precise because it is consistent. And the second one, the not accurate and precise, you can see it is not on the bull's eye. But the x the x excess are on the same place consistently, and that's how you define precise. Thank you very much. My name is Rodrigo Lopez. I'm here to explain concise language of mathematics. The concise language of mathematics is expressing much in few words, brief and to the point. Concise mathematics provides clear and efficient solution to complex problems. Concise means giving a lot of information. Using only few words or even symbols, many of the expression and formula in mathematics. 
Close such conveying details that would be otherwise cumbersome when using traditional methods of describing a phenomenon. The language of mathematics is concise the term, concise the means that, ability to say things briefly mathematics is an example of formal language. For example, instead of writing as positive 3, negative 3, we can write it like that. Powerful, able to express complex thoughts with relative ease. The language of mathematics is powerful because it can explain mathematical problems. Math is a powerful tool for global understanding and communication. Using it, students can make sense of the world and solve complex and real problems. A way to understand patterns, quantify relationship, and to predict the future. Basically, ang mathematics o language of mathematics ay malaki ang naitutulong sa atin para maintindihan ang mga problema may kinalaman ang matematika na siguradong nagagamit natin sa ating pang-araw-araw na buhay. At hindi natin may iwasan ito dahil naniniwala ako na mathematics is everywhere. Isang simpleng halimbawa na lang ito ay ang pagbili natin ng ating mga kailangan sa araw-araw na kailangan nating gumamit ng matematika sa pagbabayad o pagbibilang ng sukli. Ano nga ba ang language of mathematics? Ito ay binubuo ng mga simbolo na karaniwan nating nakikita sa buhay natin na hindi lang natin napapansin tulad ng plus sign, minus sign, multiplication sign at marami pang iba. Ito rin ang bumubuo sa mathematical sentence na mahalaga nating maintindihan at aralin para magamit ito ng tama at maayos. Mathematical expression is just not a state, a complete tag. The most common expression are numbers, variable, set, and function. Example, mathematical expression is those in a state, a complete tag. The most common expression are numbers, variable, set, and functions. Sabi dito, ang mathematical expression daw ay nakasulat ng numero at letter or variable. Dagdag ko lamang po. May tinatawag din tayong mathematical Equation. X plus 8 equal 5. Mathematical sentence. Mathematical sentence is a mathematical analog of an English sentence. Ang ibig sabihin is, parang nagbabanggit lang din tayo ng mga normal sentence, pero hindi siya true words, true symbols natin siya mababasahin and numbers example na lang dito is 6 plus 6 equal 12 which is isang sentence yan and 3x equal 9 5y plus 2 is less than 16 and it, gumagamit rin tayo ng mga symbols which is equal less than greater than not equal greater than or equal or less than or equal mathematical sentence have verbs for example na lang in 10 plus 15 equals 25 ang verb yan is yung equal and sa mathematical sentence is may tatlong types yan which is true sentence or false sentence pero minsan pwede siya maging true and pwede rin siya maging false Hello my name is Benedict John Paul P. Genisio. I'm here to discuss you my topic about true sentence but first I want to make a short brief about true sentence What is true sentence? True sentence is a mathematical sentence is true when the statement it makes is mathematically accurate. Yung true, se yung true sentence daw is nalaman natin if true sentence siya is yung, if yung problem is mathematically accurate or equal siya. Equal siya or tama yung magiging sagot niya sa isang problem. 
Uh, for example na lang. Question number 1. Ito yung example. Question number 1. 100 plus 50 equals 150. True sentence siya. Paano siya naging true sentence? Kasi pinag-add natin yung 100 plus 50. Ang kakalabasan niya is 150. Kaya siya nagiging true sentence. Question number 2. 350 divide 10 equals 35. True sentence din siya kasi 350 divide 10 equals 35. Tama yung magiging sagot niya. If pinag-divide natin yung 350 divide 10, kakalabasan niya is 35. Kaya siya nagiging true sentence. Question number 3. 6 times 9 equals 54. True sentence din siya. Kagaya ng sinabi ko, if nagiging true sentence yung isang yung isang problem if tama yung sagot niya kagaya kaya kagaya nitong question number 3 6 times 9 equals 54 true sentence siya ayun yung question number 1 2 3 is true sentence kasi nagiging true sentence siya if yung sagot is accurate good day everyone i will discuss a full sentence but first of all, I just want to introduce myself to you. My name is called Julius P. Bacalando. In math, false statement or those that are incorrect for the given problem, you can write the false statement by contradicting one of the properties of mathematics, contradicting a given fact or incorrectly using a math rule. For example, you can always write x dash x for a false statement. For example, the square root of 4 is 5 is a mathematical statement, which is of course false. In mathematics, we use language in a very precise way, and sometimes it is slightly different from everyday use. A mathematical sentence is false when the mathematical statement it makes is not accurate. So, for example, this is a false sentence. 3 plus 2 is equals to 9. A false statement is one that is not correct. For example, the number 3 is not equal to 4. So, a statement that say the 3 and 4 are equal would be false. There is not equal to 6 divided by 3, so 3 equal 3 slash 3 would also be a false statement. Thank you and good day. Good day everyone. I am Michael John Alberto. I am from Groupon 1H. And today, I will explain the if the mathematical sentence is sometimes true or sometimes false. So, let's have an example of something true or something false. We have 5 plus x equals 10. So, to make it a true sentence, we will change the value of x in the mathematical sentence to 5 to make the sentence true. So, the sentence will be 5 plus 5 equals 10. So, that is true sentence. Now, to make it a false sentence, we have to change the x the value of x to 4 to make it a full sentence 5 plus 4 equals 10 so that's a full sentence now we have another example 10 plus x equals 20 so again to make it a true sentence we need to change the value of x 10 plus 10 equals 20 so that's a true sentence now to make it a full sentence 10 plus 9 is equal to 20 it's a false sentence because 10 plus 9 is equal to 19, not 20. We cannot change the value of 10 and 20 in this sentence. We can only change the x, the value of x. 100 plus x is equal to 200. So let's make it. So let's make it true sentence. 100 plus 100 is equal to 200. It's a true sentence because 100 plus 100 is equal to 200. Paul sentence now let's have 
100 plus 90 is equal to 200. Again, it's a, it's a full sentence because 100 plus 90 is 190. It's not 200. So, it's a full sentence. Now, I want you to remember that a mathematical sentence can be sometimes true or sometimes false because, because it has the value of x that can change value like for this example that's it for discussion and thanks for watching